Now, let's get the next one, Genesis 49 and 14. Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens. Strong ass couching down between two burdens. When you see that, uh, those, uh, those bumper stickers south of the border, you see the two, the, the two donkeys and the man couching down with a big hat on. That lets you know that their burdens would be the fact that they work. They work hard. They're known for working. They, and, and that work is the burden that the Lord put on them. Read. And he saw that and he saw that rest was good. That rest is the fiesta that the Mexicans have every noon, which is called rest. Go ahead. And the land that it was pleasant. And the land that it was pleasant, a very fertile land the Mexicans hold today. And all the other all the other people in the earth, the heathens, use that land for their own gain. There's no way Mexicans should have to cross the border to feed their family with how rich and fertile their land is. The other nations have taken advantage of Issachar and made them poor. Fulfilling this prophecy to let you know that they'll be like an ass couched between two two asses or burdens or donkeys. They'll, they'll have to work with the sweat of their brow to make anything even though they have a fruitful land. Go to Deuteronomy 33 and 18 and 19. So who is Issachar of the Mexicans today? Read that. And of Zebulon he said, Rejoice Zebulon in thy going out and Issachar in thy tents. In thy tents. That's how they used to travel. In tents. All the Indian tribes over here used to travel in teepees or tents. Or what the scriptures call in the Old Testament booths. Booth. Traveling in tents. Another Define prophecy to show you who the children of Israel are here today. Read verse 14. Issachar is a strong ass crouching down between two burdens. Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens. Read verse 15. That's, that's talking about him working, but the two burdens are the two donkeys. Read verse 15. And he saw that rest was good, and the land it was that it was pleasant. The rest they have, like we mentioned the other night, was the siesta at 12 noon. They have rest. This is part of their culture. To let you know, they took this from Israel all the way over to Mexico. They do that till this day. Siesta, 12 noon. We and bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant unto tribute. He became a servant unto tribute. They work for slave wages. Mexicans. That's Issachar. So we're not just talking about the dark tribes or just Judah. There's 12 tribes that need to be identified in the earth. 